An Arizona woman who accused former Major League pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault is now facing charges herself. She's been indicted for fraud and extortion. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. Okay, so this is a first and a sign of things to come. Former Miss Black Arizona has been indicted on fake me too charges. Ex Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer was accused by a young lady in Arizona of assault. And she has now been indicted for making up the whole thing. Trevor Bauer's accuser is charged with allegedly defrauding the exiled MLB pitcher after faking her pregnancy. One of the women who accused exile MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault was indicted this week for allegedly defrauding the former one-time Cy Young Award winner, according to legal papers. Darcy Adana Esimunu, who sued Bauer and allegedly demanded $1.6 million after claiming he impregnated her. She was charged with one count of fraudulent schemes and artifices on Monday, Bauer and another man were listed on the alleged victim. So she's got multiple victims here. This chick was at work. Yeah, this is this is ridiculous. Bauer and another man are listed as the alleged victims in the case weeks after a grand jury handed down the indictment, according to paperwork provided by the Maricopa County District Attorney's Office. She was also charged with theft by extortion. Theft by extortion. but only against the other alleged victim. So the other guy that she worked, that she got some money out of, that she broke, um, she was charged with theft by extortion. So yeah, she got two charges there. Uh, let's see, in a five minute video, uh, he slammed Isamunu as he accused her of lying about what he says was a consensual sexual encounter. We had one plain sexual encounter in December 2020, noting that if you don't remember who Trevor Bauer is, Trevor Bauer is the guy who got caught up before in a similar situation with uh, the young lady who got exposed on a news show. Trevor says everything was completely consensual. He also released these text messages that came out in court indicating that you had planned the whole thing out. So I want to read some of these texts from you to a friend between the two of you before you met Trevor, this one. Next victim, star pitcher for the Dodgers. Okay, victim is an interesting choice of words. I'm, I'm gonna allow you a chance to explain yourself, but after you agreed to meet, you asked your friend what, should, what you should steal. Your friend answered his money. Uh, he says another one from you to a friend. I'm going to his house Wednesday. I already have my hooks in. You know how I roll with a screenshot in which you told him tryouts don't scare me, Bauer. Pick a day and I am there. Here are some more after you and Trevor met up. Net worth is 51 million to which your friend responds. Bitch, you better secure that bag. Your text, need daddy to choke me out. Being an absolute whore to try to get in on his 51 million. You say this wasn't a setup. How can you expect anyone to believe she that? She wanted to make sure she got the bag from him. They came to a settlement, of course, but she was not given any financial settlement. I think it was maybe to stop her from maybe going to jail. Like this chick, Adana, might. Isimuno could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. Fraudulent schemes and artifices is described as attaining benefit under false pretenses. Multiple outlets, including Fox News, reported that Isimuno is the same woman who sued Bauer in Arizona in 2023, accusing the MLB pro of holding a knife to her throat and choking her until she passed out. Now, I got to also warn you, this guy, you know, Trevor Bauer, is allegedly on some, how do I say this? He's on some s and You know, he's on some, some, some f rough sex is his thing. And this is what I'm saying. Uh, the, the first lady actually, she lined him up for that. She asked for that she asked for it to be choked and all type of stuff and then turned script flipped the script on him and decided that that wasn't what she wanted and that she had been assaulted this is what i'm saying this is a warning to all my fellas out here if you are in this situation and she's asking you to do something that you're not comfortable with that you're uh 
that that is out of the character for you, something like physical rough sex, you have to deny it. You have to realize that in the market that we're in, in the Me Too era, the post Me Too era, we have to realize that there is no place for that because they can always turn around and do it like that. Especially if you have a $51 million contract to play baseball. Like, you should know. You should be on extra guard that this is not what's going on here unless, I don't know, unless you can get a contract signed or something, you know. So a couple of people have talked about these contracts that you can get, a sex contract. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Chappelle, you know what I mean? <laughs> Make sure they consent on the form, right? So this is actually the girl. This is uh, Darcy Adana Esimu. Esimonu. Um, the lawsuit also claims a sexual encounter left her pregnant, which Bauer has denied was the cause. Bauer, who has never been charged over the allegations, right? Bauer's been out this whole time. He's been playing baseball in Japan because he can't get a job. He's been on a two-year suspension from the uh, major league went forward with a countersuit and claimed that the woman was demanding $1.6 million to end the purported pregnancy. Now, what in the world was she thinking? She was thinking she was going to get $1.6 million to end, to delete a baby. Now, she has not proven that she was actually pregnant, but this is the oldest play in the book if we don't know, fellas. You know, they say they're pregnant, they need some money to get it. 1.6 million dollars in this case which is crazy but what it amounts to is extortion these women are out here extorting men especially if you are a man of means you have to be on guard for this because this is a playbook that's being spread all over tiktok all over youtube you ever heard of sprinkle sprinkle well, guess who taught them how to do this? <laughs> I'm sure these, these ladies are far more advanced than Sprinkle Sprinkle because, you know, that's pretty basic. But it's the same idea here. And men are getting into situations. Like I said, this guy is not smart for having a penchant for, or allegedly having a penchant for rough sex. That just lines him up and puts him in a perfect situation. She shows some bruises. She shows she's hurt. She, she shows that they had sex, they did a kit or whatever, and she's got to get paid. But I think this marks a new precedent. Now that the charges have been brought up on Adana here, um, she was charged with a count of fraudulent schemes and artifices. Now that that's happened, sprinkle, sprinkle, ladies, you got to watch out. Because now you... Now you can go to jail. You can go to jail for what you've been doing out here. Working these tricks. Because it ain't nothing but prostitution. When you really do the math. Now this is a warning to you all. He refused but said he would support whatever choice she made. And ended up paying $8,761 related to the supposed pregnancy. Her countersuit states, according to the Associated Press, the woman later said she suffered a miscarriage. The outlet reported, isn't that the oldest trick in the book? She says she's pregnant. Oh, let's get together. I need some money. I need some money to take care of myself, to keep going. It's your baby, I swear. It's your baby. I, you're, all, you're the only man I'm dealing with. Meanwhile, she's got five or six boyfriends. Uh, and then turns around, oh, what happened to the baby? Oh, you know, it was a miscarriage. I'm so sad. That is one of the oldest plays in the book, if you don't know. Um, Bauer in his video claim Isimuno was never pregnant. He added that she made multiple seven-figure demands and only hired a lawyer after Bauer's first accuser, Lindsay Hill, which is the other lady I mentioned, came forward with her allegations. She then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have a deletion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. Bauer claimed, mm. but here's the thing. She never had a deletion. 
She never had a child deletion because she was never even pregnant. And that's been corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her $3.6 million, and this is a, his testimony. This is his telling of events, obviously. So, um, But it seems like it checks out because she got indicted. When I refused to pay her $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus SA claim and filed a civil suit against me. He said that at least two law firms dropped her as a client during the legal battle. They even saw, they was like, hey, it was like, you know what? We don't think you got a case. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. You, you, you sound a little shady. <laughs> you sound a little shady. You're trying to get this man's money and we know it. Now, we were with you when we thought we could do it, but there's so much evidence against you. I don't think we can do it. We don't even have the medical records. We got text messages. Yeah, I think there were some text messages, too, that got caught. Uh, either text messages or recordings. Uh, she's, uh, Scottsdale police told the AP last year that Bauer filed a criminal complaint against the woman in January 2023, claiming she was trying to extort him. That was a smart move. You go ahead and file charges to because you're being extorted because that's all it is. That is simply what it is, ladies. It is extortion when you do this. But detectives did not recommend charges to prosecutors. Wow. Authorities also confirmed. Uh, authorities also confirmed no charges were recommended after the woman filed a complaint against Bauer in December 22. Wow. This has been going on. This has been going on over multiple times. And they've denied him every time of this. And this, this it's like having a criminal out here. Because you might as well say she's a criminal in some ways. When you're making these type of moves, you're a criminal. And allowing them to revisit three times. Now, he keeps opening his home to her. He keeps, you know, interacting with her, engaging with her. But, I mean, he actually made a claim and they denied him. You know, sometimes they just don't want to do the paperwork. Scottsdale police directed the post to uh, report. Quest, a report pertaining to the case. When reached for comment, more information beyond the indictment was not immediately disclosed by Maricopa County District Attorney's Office. A possible legal rep for Esamunu uh, tied to the civil case did not reply to message seeking comment. Her MO is clear. Lie to men. Quote, this is a quote from them. Her MO is clear. Modus operandi. Lie to men to get their money. Extort them if she must. When they refuse to pay, stop paying, or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of SA, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate, Bauer claimed in Tuesday's video. Bauer also brought up Hill, the first woman who publicly accused Bauer of SA and took legal action against him. Bauer countersued, and the two later settled their lawsuits without either side giving the other money. At this point, I'm not sure what else I can possibly do to prove my innocence in all this. I did not do what I was accused of, and every institution that our society has entrusted to rule on issues like these, like courts, judges, law enforcement officers, prosecutors, etc., they all agree with me. Soon after Bauer posted the video, Hill replied on social media and dared Bauer and his agent to attempt to press charges against her. Oh, Hill is, oh, she's, Hill is the other chick. She's breaking bad now. She, she wants to come up here and say, you know, why don't you try that against me? Hmm, maybe he should. Maybe he should. This is the only way to teach somebody like this a lesson. You know? Um, what's her name? Courtney Hill. And this was her on Twitter. Here's what I have to say to your video. If you had nothing to do with your Arizona accuser, but if you press charges against her, why didn't you press charges against me? You've had three years. Trevor sued me, dropped the lawsuit on his own, and I was only one compensated. So why have you not filed charges against the girl who started it all? Bring it, bitch. <laughs> Explain to the world why you never filed charges uh, filed for fraud against me and any of the other women who have accused you. The ones you have videotaped yourself assaulting, you sick, vile, violent abuser. 
pick long. I really don't have much to say. Um, but Rachel Luba decided to use my name and then Bauer decides to go and make another video, um, citing the same things, completely ignoring the information I shared on my previous video that got 2 million views. Okay, so his accuser in Arizona, he finagled the system and managed to get her criminally charged. Um, I don't know the details of that situation. I have had nothing to do with that. And all I gotta say, Rachel, Trevor, keep talking about me. You press charges criminally against her, do it against me. Why haven't you done it? Why haven't you sued the MLB? Why haven't you criminally charged me? Why didn't you press it back then? Because all the evidence is there. No one, you have never caught me in one thing that proves me to be fraudulent like Rachel Luba claims. I'm done. This is sickening. Again, I have nothing to do with the other accuser. Charge me criminally, bitch. How do you know? Bring it, Trevor. Seriously, do it. Why haven't you done it? It's been three years. Why'd you sue me? Why'd you not press criminal charges? I'm done. So she's daring him to sue her. Hmm. I don't know, but <laughs> it's not a good situation to, to invite something like that. I mean, maybe she knows what the situation is more. That's why I said this guy, who knows what his real situation is behind closed doors. He's probably, you know, if, if he's one of the types that likes that rough sex, you know, like, then that is a perversion of sorts. So he he's not on the up and up in this, obviously. And like I said, you open yourself up to all types of problems if you are, that is your get down. Bauer was released by the LA Dodgers in January, 2023 after serving a lengthy suspension filed uh, tied to the allegations. He has since pitched in Japan and Mexico in hopes of getting back to the major leagues. Mm. Hot story, man. So what do you all think? This guy obviously is in a situation. This keeps happening to him over and over again. You're always going to be opening yourself up to this, especially if you're a millionaire, especially if you're a public figure. This is a prime example and why we need to be careful as men out here and how we're moving with these women. Like I said before, the sprinkle, sprinkle era is upon us, right? Of course, we got drizzle, drizzle going now. <laughs> which drizzle drizzle hopefully will wake up some of the young impressionable women that have been influenced by this pseudo prostitution movement because that's what it is it's literally trying to extort men for money it's trying to get a benefit out of someone now if the guy wants to give it to her that's a whole nother thing and that should be addressed on that side but this is a message out here for my fellas you get into a situation where you work hard. You've been playing baseball since you were in Little League. And you've gotten to a place where you are a professional in your sport. You are at the top of your game getting $51 million contracts. And your sexual urges are what is your downfall. Now, how many pro athletes have we heard this from? You got so many basketball players out here with multiple baby mamas that are on Instagram models or whatever, and they're, they're losing all the money that they earn paying out in child support for 10 or 11 kids. Now, this isn't a Trevor Bauer situation, but the fact is it's reminiscent. It's the exact same game. These women are not there for you. These women actually don't like you they probably hate you and that is the issue you have these women coming into uh financial windfalls by sleeping with someone i mean i i guess i can't blame them if you look at the first if you look at the richest woman on the earth how has she gained her wealth through divorce but see, she was willing to play the long game. I think a lot of the new women are not that committed. Plus, they haven't been committed to much in their life at all. So they're not willing to go through a marriage and exit with a divorce settlement. Because at that point, you have built something with that person. You've, you've moved through something, at least. Not, not saying that it's any better. But these chicks are microwave. They're looking for instant results. So they're lining you up. They're lining you up. This chick had 
several messages exchanged back and forth with him where she told him, oh, she was, um, where he was trying to go about his business and she begged him, literally begged him to come just sleep next to him is what she says. That's game two. Once you get into bed, what, what you think? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. So this is what's going on. And the lucky thing is this guy keeps pretty good records and he has, you know, he has a corresponding text stream or like a recording of something that implicates these women. But it keeps happening over and over again. And that's where I say his lack of discipline is, is because he can't get away from these obvious gold diggers. But, you know, a lot of people learn the hard way. And unfortunately, he's been in having to play in Mexico and Japan now instead of enjoying the rest of his career. I hope that contract is still valid, but I think he's trying to get on with another team. I don't know if they paid him out for the contract, they bought him out or what, because he wasn't able to complete it based on his own suspension. Dealing with women that have nothing to lose, that are in a... A position, a financial position that's lower than you, obviously. This is starting to open us up to all types of issues because these women are with you specifically for that money. If they don't get that money, they're going to figure out a way to get that money through the courts. They're going to figure out how to get it through a baby, getting pregnant, or anything else. So you have to be, you have to be vigilant. But anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for all uploads. If you want to watch more, please watch one of these videos down below. Don't forget to sign up for the Fawcett Media newsletter. The link is in the description. This is Fawcett Media.